convert convert the circuit to nothing equivalent network. Nothing's equivalent network, right? Now, what this means is that you know earlier we said from our previous example, we said given any question, you are reducing that circuit to nothing's equivalent circuit. Yeah. Now let's draw a diagram. Let's draw a nothing diagram. By nothing diagram, I have this. This is for this is for A. You know, this diagram, combination of two circuits. Okay. The first one is what A, while the second one is what Now, for B, for B, this is a this is a I short circuit. This is our R. Okay. This is our R. And this is our load resistor. Also, this is our R, this is our load resistor, and this is our I short circuit. Now, from here, give me this guy, this um, complex circuit, you are giving this complex circuit, right? Mm -hmm. Now, let me see this complex circuit. Before we analyze it, I recall my what? Equivalent nothing resistance, which is this. So, this is for A, for circuit A. This circuit, A is a circuit. So for circuit A, this is my nothing equivalent diagram. Similarly for B. And by nothing is equivalent diagram, what do you need? You need I short circuit. You need what? The equivalent resistor. I need what? Load the resistor. Now for A, what's my load resistor? Two. 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 Right? Mm. From here, this is A. Just imagine that this question is different. We are just um, bring it together. Separate this question. Now let's solve for A first. What my you know, given a question, mm -hmm. from that question, I'm going to see my load register directly. Now let's say we are solving A. What my load register? Mm -hmm. Two. Mm -hmm. My load register is what? Two. Mm -hmm. Meaning for this place I have what? Two ohm register. I'm still solving for A, right? Mm -hmm. My load register is what? Two ohm register. Now my equivalent resistors for A is what? It's still two. It's still two. Meaning, I have a two ohm resistor. Now, I shall circuit. What is the idea of I shall circuit? What is the The idea, right? Um, in this case, I want to know the value, right? ISC, meaning I shall circuit. It. I said, what is the idea? How do you calculate ISC? The current, the current in, the branch. in the branch of the load resistor. Yeah. The current in the branch of the load resistor. Yeah. Now, check. What branch do you have your load register? Let's know this as A, B, C, D. Now, what branch do you have your load register for this A? A, B. Now, the current will become what? The current will be what? 25 volts. How do you get 25 volts here? 50 over 2. 50 over 2. Meaning from here, you have what? 25 ampere. You have 25 ampere. Then you are done. Now, for B, B is what? That would be what? Applying A to B, that would be what? 5 load is 5. Your load register is 5 ohms. Your equivalent register is still 5 ohms. Then your IS is what? 2 milliampers. 2 milliampers. Very simple. That would What this means is that no matter how the question might be, don't let. Do you see a question? Don't like, don't be afraid yet. Just try and understand the question. Yeah, exactly. Try to bring it to your level. Try to what, bring it to your level, then you get the answer. So for, for uh, circuit A, for circuit A, we already know from what we've done so far, our load register is 2 ohm register. Then next thing, let's get our equivalent resistance. By equivalent resistance, we already have these two here. It's still our equivalent resistance. Okay, now let's get our high short circuit. By high short circuit, meaning the current flowing through the load resistor. And that was 50 divided by 2, which is 25 ampere. Similarly for B, your load resistor is 5 ampere. Your equivalent resistance is 55 ampere. Now, how do you get the current flowing through this load resistor? 10 divided by 2, that will give you 2 milli ampere. So that's how it works. Meaning, for Nautis theorem, 
I must say this now. For nothing, for nothing's theory, the steps remain the same. Nothing is changing. Giving any question, and the question says that use nothing's theory to simplify. Just you go your step one up to the last step, and you are good to go. Nothing is changing. So this is the question. That's it. That's it. That's it.